Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you. Um, this is gonna be my only, probably maybe only 11.4.3 drive. We are in Boone, North Carolina. I just got out of work and the update installed while I was at work. So we're just making a, uh, gonna make a few trips around Boone. Well, oh, not sure why it, it did a full, st I mean, I guess we're at a stoplight, but I think it said it was a yield sign there, so. Okay, considering all that, that was pretty appropriate. Um, but yeah, um, this is the first drive, 11 out 4 that degree. It's not gonna be a standard test route or any of that stuff, and I, I might not get any other drives, but this will be fairly unique uh, in that it's going to have um, a very, very steep uh, road. Also, uh, she is definitely on drugs. I, so, okay. <laughs> Um, I had to uh, press the accelerator right there um, to keep it from my like, breaking all the way. Um, she's definitely like in the road, so you know I might not even edit this video. I might just upload this video straight. Um, we'll see. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll edit it on the phone or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. But um, if we if we don't, I will keep on talking. I hope everyone has had a fantastic week. Uh, I didn't really expect this update. Also, I don't don't recall this many people walking on this road, but handled that interaction quite well because uh, I had room to move over before it didn't have room to move over. So it jammed on the brake a lot, uh, and I'm clearly holding up traffic, only going 35 on this road. But we're about to turn. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone's been having a great week. Um, uh, my office is up here in Boone, and so I work remote back home in Saluda. So I'll come up time to time. To Keep keep acclimated with everyone. Um, and let's see how it's gonna make this turn here. So this little turn it doesn't even show the road properly. This is by far the steepest road is in this entire town. I'm I pressed the accelerator to keep it from braking so I don't get rear-ended. So this is a little shortcut. If you ever come into Boone, North Carolina from 421. Uh, and you're going to the supercharger, which is, doesn't show it, right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> These cars are probably pissed off that we're only going 25. Um, speed limit is 35 on this road. Anyways, supercharger's right here. We're going to lose. But um, this is one of the steepest roads uh, in this entire distance, regularly. Uh, a semi truck will get stuck on this road. And as you can tell, my car is handling it excellently. Super good. Let me turn uh, speed the max road type. Now, no longer needs to do that. I'm accelerating it again to keep, to prevent people from being stuck behind me. They, I can pretend I'm some old person. There's a lot of R4 uh, radians. So the Florida Drive is up here get a really bad rep here in the mountains because they're snowbirds. They show up in the summertime and they go back down in the winter time. And you can tell when they're up here, it's just, you can tell it's like, that's a really terrible driver. Even though we're in a college town, it's almost always a Florida driver. Um, and usually it's some older retired person up here. So stereotypes usually <laughs> can usually fall, uh, fall in place for a reason. But, um, that's usually what happens. So I'm gonna be that Florida driver today. <laughs> no offense, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck drives much better than most of the Florida, Florida drivers that are up here. Um, so I, again, I pressed the accelerator right there to give it a little bit more confidence. Um, there's nothing really different. I think there was just some bug fixes. Maybe they made a few tweaks. Maybe they ch edited the hesitancy profile. I don't know. But it, it seems to be doing fairly well. Again, I was really impressed. Um, so I didn't record this on a video. I made it from Hendersonville, North Carolina to Boone, North Carolina using 221, which is you no know, backline two lane roads like this, like most of the way, three fourths of the way, and zero disengagements. It was two, over two hours of driving and just over 100 miles with zero disengagements. It's the first time I've ever done that. And so I'm incredibly happy to have 
um, have done that um, for the first time. It shows that the software is improving and it's one of the, some of the smoothest driving it's ever been. Like this is overall pretty good, especially for the conditions. We haven't disengaged. Obviously I have helped it quite a bit here. Um, but I think this will this will make like a good little video. Uh, we're gonna get out on, no we're not going, well yeah, this is a hard turn right here. What it should do is it should come up to this light right here and then turn. It's gonna, it's gonna give it a harder turn. Uh, so that's, that's good for testing purposes. We're already slowing down for the light. Maybe they changed that. That seemed like really responsive to this light right here, everyone. That's interesting. Um, just uh, if you guys aren't already um, on Twitter, you definitely should. Twitter is growing rapidly and it's... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not discrepancy. Uh, <laughs> controversy aside... Um, I think Elon is doing a pretty good job uh, keeping Twitter um, afloat with a lot less resources and seems to be doing well. I don't know, if you, if you want to keep up with like some drive statistics I have, go ahead and uh, look for the link down below and you'll see my Twitter uh, there and you can go see some extra behind the scenes stuff. Normally where I do post, I don't really use Instagram very much, Twitter is the main go-to for full self-driving stuff. Also. I think this road is 35 right here and it's still going 25. That's my biggest issue right now, is that it doesn't go the proper speeds. You just saw it pass the 20 mile an hour speed limit sign right there. And it, uh, it didn't go to, it didn't read the 20 sign. That's my biggest issue, right? Um, like in terms of like making this feel so close to robo taxi is properly adjusting the speeds. Whether it, it's going too fast on a road where it shouldn't, or it's going too slow, or it's just not picking up the correct speed limit, or it, you know, all that type of stuff. If it can fix that, it's gonna feel so close to robo taxi, and and you know, little stuff like incorrect blinkers and all that stuff, which seem seem these last couple of versions seem to be improved. The hardest part about this issue is you see this intersection. See how this is angled? Um, the B pillar, it has a really bad angle though it actually did really well <laughs> that uh that did great as a as a yield and it went through like a yield and we're going in the lows and that's gonna be it okay everyone um i think that was a nice little drive that's that's all i'm gonna do is just like a little um just a little test, just to uh, kind of give you a teaser, 11.4.3. It was uh, what, zero disengagements, I'm pretty sure. And uh, I thought it did fine, no worse than the last one. I mean, I don't see anything particularly uh, of note to say it was better. I think it was just a few bug fixes, maybe a couple tweaks. But otherwise, I think everything was good. If you have questions for me, put them down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.